Hey everybody, want to do an uh, update on how far I got on the greenhouse today, or the hoop house. So, uh, as you can see, we're standing inside of it, and uh, you know it's probably uh, about six and a half feet tall or so. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, got pretty far with it. Now, uh, let's go ahead and go around and show all the little, little details uh, that I got. Um, we got some cross members installed and I just zip tied those in place to uh, to give it some cross support and I've got a ridge line set and um, I will uh, put a 2 by 4 something from here straight down to the ground and I'll do the same thing probably here straight down to the ground and that'll give me something to mount some shelves and whatnot to right in the middle um, I've got this rope light in here. I'm going to set that up on a timer so that it is just on at night. Help cut down on the frost. Um, did something a little, little different here. Um, I was going to make the 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 the, uh, the hoop house the full length of the garden all the way to the end, but you see what I did here. I decided to. <clears throat> Just go ahead and um, do a half hoop house or whatever you call it, a short, small one on that side. And I'll probably do the same thing over here. And then I'll make it uh, accessible um, from the center. Sorry about the noise. Neighbors are having some work done. Okay, and uh, we had a little broccoli damage. I sat on it when I was trying to get that all set up. But I've got these uh, clips here, made out of three-quarter inch uh, PVC, and uh, they did rip in a few spots. And uh, what I'll do is uh, um, I'll come back and throw a piece of duct tape over that, and then snap the clip back on it just uh, as a reinforcement. Um, it was probably about 40 degrees out, maybe 45 degrees out today, and it felt like it was 80, 90 degrees in here. It was hot, so I think this is going to do do the trick. I brought the pear tree in. I haven't got it in the ground yet. So I think uh, I'm going to leave that in here. Uh, covered up some of the kale, the chard, the Swiss chard. This should uh, somewhat revive itself and come back to life in a few spots. Um, I'll go ahead and whatever's dead. Uh, I'll spend some time and get all this pruned out and get rid of, get rid of all that and fill in some of the dead space. But uh, now that I got uh, some place to uh, grow during the winter, uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what I, what I can't get accomplished in here. Um, I've got a couple of old uh, pool ladders, and I put one on this end, and then I put one on this end, and I cut some uh, old fences for some shelves. That was a six foot fence, so I cut that at four foot. Left over was two foot. Worked for a top shelf, and likewise over here. And then uh, tomorrow, also, I'm going to probably work on getting all of my uh, little pots and things set for uh, for starting seeding. And uh, see what else we got going on in here. Oh, I took the top of the ladder here. I zip tied it to the corner posts, helped uh, give the entire structure some some more support. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. We'll uh, see how everything works out. Um, I'll do another video on this tomorrow. Um, I'll be working on it and tweaking on it and um, getting some more getting some more uh, stuff done here. This is this is fun. I just uh, had a had a blast building it. I think this is uh, gonna get us through and and. Uh, allow us to grow a lot more vegetables over the course of the winter time. Um, it's uh, now November 20th and uh, this should, I'm hoping, get us right through until uh, spring planting. Alright, thanks a lot guys for watching and uh, I'll uh, do another update on this on this uh, hoop house and how far I get on it tomorrow and um, I'll do some more updates as to how, how well I'm growing stuff in here. Thanks a lot and we'll see you guys in the next video.